Here's a last, one last example of a plant that likely prefers seed as its propagation method. When we ask the first question, what is the most obvious thing about you? Well, yeah, the red foliage, but also this beautiful flower here. This is Rosa de Jamaica. It's in the okra family, actually, but it's used, the flower is used to make a medicinal and uh, just regular enjoyable tea. If we follow the flower after it dies off, we see that there is a big seed pod that is left after the flower. When we break open this seed pod, remember, it always goes flower, fruit, seed. Inside, there is viable, viable seed. We'll collect some of this seed and take it over to plant it in our nursery. Our last example of seed is the hibiscus flower, Rosa de Jamaica. As we noticed, the flower is the most obvious thing. And we saw the pattern, it always goes flower, then fruit if there is one, and then a seed. So this is the flower, this is the dried flower, and as you see, as the flower dries, it forms these little pods, these little seed pods. And if you break open the seed pod, you find the seed inside. Now sadly, all of our Rosa de Jamaica is immature right now. We're making this video in rainy season. So I'm not actually gonna plant any of this, but you would wait for these seed pods to dry out and then the seed would be well developed and firm and quite hard inside and then you would plant them in the bags. One recommendation that I make is the bag is a great thing for slower growing plants and for all the asexual propagation methods. For seed, I would probably plant coffee in the bag as opposed to the box because it's a slower growing perennial plant. It can stay in the bag for several months before it needs to be transplanted. In, uh, on the other hand, things like peppers that are annuals or tomatoes or things that, of that sort, I would prefer to use a tray or a box. And we use these wooden boxes that have about an uh, inch space in between each slat of wood or half inch space so that the soil still stays in but it has well, good drainage. And then we, uh, you can make or buy a potting mix and you fill either the bag or the soil or the tray and you plant your seeds. Generally slower growing perennial seeds go in bags and the annual faster growing vegetable seeds could go in trees.